you're not alone anymore. We have a new family now. We stick together. Do you hear me? Yes, I promise. We promised, didn't we? The brand of a lassie. The symbol of the focus we all faced. The mark of the fate we all shared. Proof of the promise we all made. The heroes never die. Come on. We've got a world to save. If we have the power to destroy Cocoon, then we have the power to save it. You say you want your day of wrath, do ya? Well, it's coming right up! Tom, we gave the people what they really want. can do it. I know we can. We made it this far. Right. Let's make a real miracle happen. <laughs> Lady Luck sure ain't on his side. <sighs> Overreach you. Is that so? You don't believe in anything. You gave up on life before you were even born. Sat poisoning Cocoon from the inside, waiting for someone to come and destroy you. Sure, you think the end of the world is salvation. All you care about is death's release. So take it and leave the rest of us alone. We don't think like that. When we think there's no hope left, we keep looking until we find some. Maybe Cocoon is past saving, but it's our home, and we'll protect it or die trying! We live to make the impossible possible. That is our focus! Alright, time for the final boss battle of the game, and this boss is essentially under a doom counter, so you have to be very careful because if your leader dies, well, you gotta restart, which sucks. Now, I'm pretty sure that this guy, you know what I'm gonna do? Do the Libra. So I'm not entirely sure what the hell happens to this guy. Or, like, what he's immune to. Okay, so he's immune to a lot of stuff. He's immune to poison, obviously. He has 3.3 million HP. Also, I'm pretty sure that when he's, when he's not staggered, nothing can actually work here, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna switch back into Relentless now. So, the point is to stagger Orphan as much as you can. Now, Orphan is immune to damage when he, or I don't know, should I say it? When it's not staggered, it's immune to damage, so you have to stagger. Okay, these attacks are brutal. Well, brutal in the sense of, like, the stunning time, which is annoying. Okay, just keep going. Keep going for the stagger. The only thing I'm gonna do, actually, is switch to this really fast. Good shit. What the hell is that? Damn it! I don't know what those buffs were, but okay. I need to buff up offensively. Hurry up. Give me some stuff. Hurry up. Fast. What the hell? Oh, shoot. I did way too much damage. Um, just attack. 
I gotta stagger you and fast. How much do potions push go by this point? I have no freaking clue. Man. I have no clue. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, you're about to be stag oh, you're staggered. There we go. Okay, so when you are staggered, you finally take damage. Although you want to have bravery and faith, I'm assuming, um, because if you don't, wait a minute, it didn't work. Or did it? Holy crap! I have no idea what just happened. But you know, one, one thing I should do is um, switch to this. Even gods, because I have to dispel you now. Now this one is not immune to dispel, right? No, it's not. Okay, thank God. No, what the hell happened though? Are, are you taking damage or are you not? No, I staggered this guy and it didn't work. How did it not work? I mean, I lose because you're supposed to be dealing damage to this guy. But so, for some freaking reason, it just did not work. And I have no clue as to why that happened. Okay, there we go. I inflicted in peril. That's good. Let's try to get these shell to protect because he's apparently not immune to that. Okay, there's the shell. You see how hard it is to land these things, man? And that's with her having the Marlboro wand. Okay, let's switch. Oh, god. Never mind, I thought that was gonna attack me. Okay. Oh no, that annoying move again. Although I'm pretty much gonna die here because... I don't know if the, the game glitch? I have no idea what the hell that was all about. Okay, watch. He's gonna lose his... Stagger again. He's, oh wait, he's launched. Now he can still attack you when he's staggered, which is actually very unique to him. <coughs> Sorry about that, Abel. Come on, come on. You can kill him. You can kill him. I'm doing nine, 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 nine. Well, that's cool. Come on, kill him, kill him. All right, there we go. That's not gonna be a five star though. No. Terrible, terrible. Um, if you get a five star rating on this guy. You obtain a trophy. Just saying. But I failed. And there we go. Crystal Arm expanded. Level 10. Come true. What? But not if you just wait for miracles. Ready. Hmm. Miracles are things we make for ourselves. Here and now.
wake up. They did it. They saved the world. No, they gave us a new one. That's one gift I'll forgive him for not rapping. <laughs> yeah. This is as much as we can do. The rest is up to you. Does this mean we completed our focus? Let's get these civs someplace safe. The coon's seen better days, that's for sure. Yeah, and I'd say that qualifies as a demolition. Focus complete. <laughs> Whatever you want to believe. It really is a miracle. Oh, my brain. It's gone. It's easy to lose sight of things in a world as wide as this one. But if you keep going, you're sure to find what you're looking for, sooner or later. What? Hmm? Oh, big bunch of chocobos. It... <gasps> Look there. <gasps> Sarah! It is. Dodge! Daddy! <laughs> Snow! Sarah! <laughs> <laughs> They're gone, aren't they? Hey. I guess they meant for this to be goodbye. Then again, we've changed our fates before. Come on. Okay. I missed you. Sarah, I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, <laughs> come on, the apologies can wait. We got a wedding to plan. What? You are gonna allow it. You said wow. wedding, right? Dad. You don't waste any time, do you? No, I don't. That's right. <laughs> Just charge in. Guns blazing. <laughs> I swear to you, I will make her happy. I believe you. Congrats. When prayers turn to promises, not even fate can stand in their way. We held the light of hope in our hearts and achieved the impossible. Now we live on to greet a new dawn. Okay, so that is the game, pretty much. Final Fantasy XIII. I mean, it's for sure a long game. It took 60 videos, and that is with 30 minute uploads, because if um, you all watch my Final Fantasy X Let's Play, or at least others, you would know that this one is for sure one of the longest ones. It's run the same length as Final Fantasy X, somewhat, because Final Fantasy X took 100 videos, but they were all 20 minute videos. This one is 60 videos, but remember that most of them were 30 minute videos, so basically 50% more, which would be 90 videos. If I were to do 20 minute uploads, this Let's Play would be 90 videos in length already. This would be part 90, about. So, yeah, you know, and then there's still more side quests to do that would make maybe 
make it go to near 100 or over 100, you know, probably over. But then again, at the same time, I never 100% of Final Fantasy X. I did a lot of side quests, but not all of them. So that game would also be around 110 videos. They're roughly about the same in lanes to 100% the games. So, yeah, it's longer, you know, because it's for sure this one with Final Fantasy X are the two longest Final Fantasy Let's Plays I've done. Much longer than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I haven't done 7, uh, 8, I haven't done 9. And obviously much longer than Crystal Chronicles and the Crystal Bears. Oh, and also longer than Final Fantasy IV The After Years, because that one was actually a pretty long game. But anyway, about this game itself, um, well, it's an interesting game. There are a lot of people who don't actually like it. A lot of people. And I think part of the reason why people don't like it that much is because, oh, by the way, here's the actresses. Allie Hill is Troy Baker. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just know them too, really. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I think part of the reason why people don't like the game too much is because of the battle mechanics, the gameplay mechanics, which are very straightforward and like, it's almost as if the game plays itself, not really you doing stuff. I mean, yes, there are some battles where you have to be um, more attentive, but I mean, your control is essentially paradigm shifting. If you paradigm shift, that's all you're doing in the battle and, ma and then mashing X. There's only a few times in the game where you actually manually input commands, but aside from that, all you're doing is mashing X and pressing L1 in the battle, and that's all you're doing. Which is why people are like, you know, you're not really doing that much, which... I mean, I can see that perspective for sure. And... It makes sense. But at the same time, I can't really just say that, oh, Square Enix messed up entirely. I mean, they were trying something new, and... It had a mixed reaction. People loved it, people hated it, you know, whatever. 13.2, I guess people say improved upon it. I, I would say the gameplay improved a little bit in 13.2. But there are other things that are inferior to this game in 13.2, and that is, I think the entire story itself is very inferior to this game in terms of story. And music, uh, I think this game beats 13.2 by music as well, by just a little bit. They both have really fantastic soundtracks. In visuals, graphics, I mean, they're essentially the same, you know, this one in 13.2. So, I mean... I honestly don't know which game I like better, this one or 13.2, but I'll be getting to 13.2 in a bit. I did say it was going to be my next Let's Play, my next Final Fantasy Let's Play, but in all honesty I might do a shorter Final Fantasy game in between and then move on to 13-2. I'm thinking of doing Tactics. Tactics can actually be a shorter game if you know how to approach it correctly, so I'm thinking of doing that. But I don't know, I mean, I don't know why I'm talking about that yet because there are actually more cycles to do here anyway in this game. I'm not finished yet and I will be doing them pretty much you know, straight from here. I'm not going to be taking a break. I'll just be doing it in the next 12 hours. The first side quest video will be up, you know? So yeah. It should be a really fun, you know, side quest thing that I'm going to be doing. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully it is. But I don't know. I mean, this game to me, it's... It is pretty special. It's for sure not my favorite Final Fantasy game, but no, it's one of my tops. Because, like, as far as my top Final Fantasy games go, you all know for sure Final Fantasy X is my favorite. It's actually one of my favorite games of all time, not just Final Fantasy. So Final Fantasy X... Um, in second place, it would probably be... Oh, cause there's just so many, you know? Like, I love 4. I really love 4. Um, I love 8, but probably not second place. No, I love 12. And yeah. So, I think Final Fantasy XII might be second place, and then four would be third place, and then eight would be fourth place, and after that... Mm, it, it might be 13? Yeah, I, I mean, probably. And then probably after that would be nine. So here's my order. 10, 12, 4, 8, 13, 9, and then probably 6, and then probably... After that, maybe either three or seven. I mean, you guys were like, what? Seven is that? Yeah, honestly, it is. If you guys have been watching my Final Fantasy Let's Plays, we're just me talking about Final Fantasy games in general, you would know that I developed a rather large dislike towards seven for many, multiple reasons, and according to many people, there are credible reasons as to why you are against seven, and I, I don't share that only mindset. But um, I talked about it a lot in the world of Final Fantasy Let's Play that I did. 
But yeah, 7 is that low, so again, it would probably be in order of 10, 12, 4, 8... Actually, should I? Yeah, yeah, okay. 10, 12, 4, 8, 13, and then 9, and then 6, and then probably 3, and then 7. Yeah, 7 would be my ninth favorite, I guess. And after that, it's really whatever. I mean, maybe 5, maybe 1. 2 is my least favorite, no doubt about that. 2, I freaking hate 2. Because of the way that you develop characters. I do not like that game. 5 is one of my least favorites as well. And then 1, I mean, that's only because it's so basic and generic. But at the same time, 1 can actually be pretty fun. I'm not counting 11 or 14 in this. Because they're MMORPGs so are a completely different style of games. Which is why they don't list 11 or 14. Because I can't really... It's not fair to compare 11 and 14 to the other Final Fantasies, you know? And then 15, I can't rate it yet because I haven't really played it, you know? So, I haven't played it enough to actually give a fair judgment, so I can't rate it yet. So that's basically 1 through f one through 14, with the exception of 11 and 14. That's my rankings. My rating. My, my personal opinions. Also, I hope that this video doesn't get hit by freaking copyright strike, because of that damn music at the end. You know, the... I forgot what it's called, but it's a... An actual copyrighted song, it's the same thing, thing that people run into problems with Kingdom Hearts, Let's Plays. And the freaking simple and clean song that gets hit by copyright issues all the time. Hopefully this video doesn't. Alright, so the credits should be nearly finished. I'm just freaking waiting on this shit, hurry up. Executive producer, Shinji Hashimoto, there we go, all done. Producer, Yoshinori Kitase, ooh, I know who that is, I actually do know who that is. He's one of the more famous ones. Yoshinori Kitase and then Tetsuya Nomura are also is also very very well known. Square Enix. Huh. Yes, I know that. I know that it's Square Enix who made this game, Square Enix, I mean seriously. Okay. So Wait, don't, don't I get to save? Aren't you giving me the option to save? Like seriously? Tell me to save. Hurry up. Damn it. Come on. Hello. What's going on? The end. Well then, that was for sure an interesting game, right? Yeah, it was. It's a fun game, but we're not finished yet. Side quest time. Side quest time in part 61. There we go, save. Make sure to save here, because if you don't, you're screwed. I'm just saying. <laughs> you have to beat the entire boss again. So we're not going to be going to the final boss ever, because we're not platinum the game. If you want to platinum the game, you have to 5-star Orphan. And by Orphan, I mean only the final battle, the third battle of those three. You can 4-star or up to 1-star the first two, it doesn't matter. Only the third one matters. Alrighty, well, I guess I will see you all starting in the side quest, so, um, yeah. Hope you all had a really great fantastic journey through this game and now it's just time for the additional side quest the end game post game stuff so yeah i will see you all in part 61 bye bye everyone